everyone. I totally took off my jewelry because it was bothering me. Anyways, um, today's tutorial is on kind of hairstyles for straight hair, but you can do this with curly hair too. This is what I call the bagel hair, or the donut hair, or the bun hair, or the updo hair. It's really quick, really simple. You can do it like this, really fast. Perfect for work, back to school, elegant occasions, whatever you like. So this is great because it is so versatile. Also, it's super, super cheap. You guys can buy these at the drugstore, but I show you how to make them yourself and just twist yourself up. So this is the perfect, perfect, perfect thing to do. Um, tell me if you guys like it, and I will be doing more straight hair, curly hair, wavy hair tutorials, etc. So here's what it looks like, and then I'll show you how. Also, I forgot to mention that if you guys sleep in this updo, you'll have some gorgeous, gorgeous curly waves. Um, and the thing is that if you guys have naturally straight hair, you may need to put it up in the bun and then hairspray it and then sleep in it. But if you have naturally curly hair, um, then it should work and hold without a hairspray. And you just sleep in that at night, take it out in the morning, and you kind of have some bouncy, flouncy curls. So first things first, sock and scissor in hand, you're going to want to cut just right here. Next, you're going to want to do the roll. How we do this is that, sorry, we're shaking. Um, how we do this is that we're just going to keep on rolling this and we're going to roll it in and in and in and we want to make sure that this is super super curly um, and once you get to like the very very end you're going to kind of pull down and tighten it and repeat this whole process and keep curling and keep curling and keep curling and keep tightening and keep tightening and keep tightening so now we're going to curl again once you get to the edges, you just want to wrap them around, and you guys can cut that off if you need to. Um, but you can also do this with stockings. You can buy them at the drugstore, but it's better to make them um, and cheaper. Um, you can really control the sizes better, so you guys can do stockings, socks, whatever you prefer. Now comes the fun part where we kind of get to put this on. What you're going to want to do is take all of your hair to the very back of your head and put your hair in a ponytail. You guys can do this as a low ponytail, a high ponytail, on top of your head ponytail, whatever kind of ponytail you want. But be sure that you understand wherever that ponytail is going to be, that's where your bun's going to be. And you guys can do this messy or you guys can do this neat. Totally up to you. Um, also, you do not have to straighten your hair. I find it much, much easier to do this when your hair is straight just because it does look sleeker. Um, when I do curly hair, it's just kind of frizzy and does not look super, super nice. Um, but you guys can do this however you prefer. I'm going to fasten and secure my high pony. And I'll turn around so that you guys can see. I hope you guys can hear me talk. Now that I have my ponytail, I'm going to put this on. And pull it tight. Next, we're going to flip our hair over and we're going to fasten it in place. We want to evenly disperse the hair throughout the entire thing so it's kind of like that. You guys see how the hair is kind of falling evenly, almost like a fountain spewing out water? And then we're going to put um, a hairband right here. So now your hair is looking something like this. And I'm going to turn around so that you guys can see. But what you want to do, um, you can also fasten these in with a bobby pin, but you want to take the hair and in one simple direction, um, just kind of roll it around, if that makes sense. Like, twist it, you know, into a bun. And like I said, you guys can totally take this and pin it right here so that it stays in place with bobby pins. But I find if I just twist and tighten that it works. Also, you guys can get this perfectly, 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 um, you know, tucked in and neat. I kind of like to leave a little bit out at the ends, make mine a little bit more messy. Um, you guys can go in opposite directions too. I like to do mine all in the same direction. But it is really whatever you prefer. So now this is the end result. As you guys can see, because the hair is straight, it's much more it's much more shiny. So if you guys like buns, this is probably the thing for you. It's super quick, super simple, perfect for people with straight hair. If you have curly hair, you can straighten it or do it curly, rock your stuff. There's a ton of different styles um, because you can do it higher on your head, lower on your head, um, you can leave more of the little things sticking out, you can wrap them around more or less, um, you can use a bigger one or you can use a smaller one, the thicker socks are going to be bigger, the nylons are going to be really tiny, but that's what it looks like, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to y'all soon, bye.